Alright guys, so here I am testing the new Nintendo Switch homebrew application, SysDVR. It allows you to stream video from your Switch to your PC without the use of a capture card or a camera. It uses the Switch's own internal system for recording, like how you get screenshots or a little 30 seconds of video, and yeah, it uses that to stream the video. Of course, the downside to that is is that it only streams what that software is capable of recording. So games like The Witcher 3 won't work for some reason, uh, Fast RMX can't be recorded either, and neither can Super Smash Bros. That, I think, is going to be the biggest letdown for a lot of people. But let's test some of the other games that I was having it run on. Uh, the game Doom, for the most part, plays quite well. Um, every once in a while when you get into a new area, It'll start to load and you'll have to, you know, the developer told me on Reddit that you'll have to hit the home button for a second and then hit it again to return to the game. And that should fix that weird desyncing issue that's going on causing the lag. Pretty much any racing game such as Mario Kart and Grid Autosport, which are, in my opinion, the only two racing games worth having on the Switch, with the exception of Fast RMX, might I add. Um, they play quite well. There's no lag at all except for when you first start the level. And you hit the home button and you hit it again and boom, the entire game plays very smooth until you finish the race. Records very smooth, should I say. Big open world games like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, Pokemon Shield, even though it's not truly an open world game, but it's got big open areas, and uh, even Skyrim. Uh, for the most part, they play well um, until you're in an area with either a lot of things or when you're loading in a new area, like, you know, where the, the uh, Switch has to stream in new assets to load up the new area or something. It'll start to lag a little bit. But again, you just hit the home button and um, go back to the game and it fixes. There are some games that will record, but they won't do it well, such as Saints Row 3, where you try to record it, and no matter how many times you hit the home button or whatever, it just won't uh, record well. It'll just keep lagging and lagging. So Saints Row 3, forget about trying to stream that one. Sonic Mania, however, works very well. 
The only exceptions is if you go into one of those little bonus games or something, it'll start to lag a little bit, and then when, when you return to the main game, sometimes it'll cause lag, sometimes it won't, so you'll have to do that home button trick, whatever. But the homebrew application, there's only like been two releases of this thing so far. It's still in its early development. You know, the PS Vita now has homebrew software like this, and it runs perfect. So give this software a little time. It's gonna get amazing, guys. I'm quite excited for it. Being able to record or stream games from your Switch without a capture card, where the cheapest ones of them are like 50 bucks. I only spent like five dollars on the USB cord that I'm using to do this, and that's all I need. That and the software. So I look forward to uh, where this software is going. Just as a side note, if you overclock your Switch while streaming, it will improve the results of the recording, but it's not good for your battery. And there's a good chance, depending on the game, that you could overheat your Switch as well. So do so at your own risk. I did it once to test Breath of the Wild, and it did make it better, but I I'm not willing to reduce the uh, life of my battery just to stream some games.